Okay, for this uh, tutorial, we want to solve the conditional inverse and generalized inverse. Okay, so before that, you look at on the given matrix A. So this is our matrix A. So in order to find the conditional inverse, we need to make this matrix A to be a square matrix of the size 3 by 3. Right. So we start with... 1, 0, negative 2 ok, so as we want to make it um, a square matrix then we reduce the matrix in order to find the elementary matrices right, because it is connected with the conditional inverse ok, so this is uh, the result after we apply the elementary row operation so here we have a uh, two ERO, right? So it means that it will produce uh, two elementary matrices. So the elementary matrices will will start with identity matrix. So we apply the first operation, then it will produce. And the second uh, elementary matrices by using the second uh, ERO. Right, so we name it as E1 and E2. So the conditional inverse will be equal to E2 multiply with E1. So we do a matrix multiplication. Okay, so as the matrix E um, is 2 by 3 matrix, so the conditional inverse will produce a 3 by 2. So from here, we take out the 3 by 2 matrix, right? So that will be the answer for the C inverse. Right, so C inverse will be equal to... Right, so just bear in mind, uh, A is 2 by 3, so the C inverse will be uh, 3 by 2 matrix, right? Okay, in order to find the rank, okay, so you look at on um, our matrix up after simplification so we can see that we have uh, the answer is 1, 0, negative 2 so we can see that the, the number of leading one is 2 so that represents the rank of A is equal to 2 Okay, so next we want to find the generalized inverse. So this is the formulation that involve. Okay, you can use uh, this formula wherever it is uh, possible, right? So in order to answer C, so we start with B equal to A transpose A. So Okay, so we do a matrix multiplication. Right, and then uh, C1 equal to identity of the size 3. Okay, 
Okay, and then C1 multiply with B. So the identity matrix. So we multiply with B that we have here. So we, we will get the same uh, answer because it is multiplied with identity matrix. Okay, and then we find the trace of C1B. Okay, so the trace is the addition of main diagonal entries. Okay, then we find C2 by using this formula. Okay, this formulation, right, where I will be equal to 1, right, so 11 times the identity, C my, minus C1B, so C1B, Okay, then C2 multiply with B. Right. So, this is C2B. So, the trace will be 42. Right. So, we run until um, C2. Why? Because our rank is 2. Right. So, we stop until C2. Then we can find the G2, right? The generalized inverse of A, right? By using this formula. So this is the answer. Okay, so hopefully you can try and check whether you get the same answer or not.